The idea came about early in Terragenesis's. 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 Wow, that's too many S's. That's just. That's an unconscionable number of S's. One of the questions that I get asked the most often by players of Terragenesis is what's up with the time traveler? So I wanted to take some time today and talk to you about the time traveler. At its core, the time traveler mechanic in Terragenesis is an anti-cheating mechanism. The time traveler is something that came about early in the development of Terragenesis, after it had been released, but before we had very many players. I started to get messages from players who had changed the time on their clock to fast forward the effects in the game. And at first I was confused because that wasn't really a strategy that I had used in any other games, but I quickly realized that it's a strategy that a lot of people use in time-based games like Terra Genesis. Not wanting to use Genesis points to move forward because oftentimes you had to buy them, people would just fast forward the time on their clock and thus the game would think that more time had passed and they would get the same effect. Now, that presented a number of problems. The most obvious is that Genesis points were how I made money. And I know a lot of people don't like to pay for games, and that's totally fine, but some people should, or else I can't keep making this game. So I wanted to protect my revenue stream. But there was another reason to fix this, and that is that Terra Genesis is a weird game compared to other games. Most games are a lot more linear than Terra Genesis. There's a beginning and an end, you want to get to the end. There's generally some metric that there's no such thing as too much. You know, when you play a game of Halo, there's no such thing as killing too many bad guys. You just want to kill them all. Plenty of games, there's no such thing as having too much money. There's no such thing as progressing too fast through the level, or that sort of thing. And so anything that can help you with that is good. But Terra Genesis isn't like that. Terra Genesis is what I like to call a Goldilocks game. The idea is that a planet that's too hot is no better than a planet that's too cold. Terragenesis is all about finding balance in the middle. And so oftentimes we would get players who would fast forward their games because they want their pressure to go up, but in doing so, they would end up radically messing up their sea level, or their oxygen level, or their surface temperature. All of these different metrics that interplay in Terragenesis, it's really hard to get them all set up in such a way that if you were to fast forward your clock by six hours, they'll all be good. Mostly you're gonna make progress on one or two and then lose progress on another couple. And so I started not only getting messages from people accusing me of being greedy, which is just par for the course when you make a video game these days, but I also started getting people messaging me reporting bugs or confusion or frustration because I fast forwarded my game and everything went to hell. And it's like, okay, well, why did you do that? So it rapidly became clear that I needed to do something to discourage that. But I ran into a wall really fast, which is that the device doesn't know what time it is. This is one of those things that really surprised me as a developer. I just assumed that the device would have some kind of record of what time it actually is. That if you change the clock, okay, now it says one thing, but the system still knows what time it is. That's actually not the case. When you change the clock on your phone, your whole phone thinks it is actually that time, and there's no record of the fact that you altered it, or that it was manually set, or that it's offset from the real timestamp. The device just thinks that's the time. Which makes it really tricky to detect people changing their clock, because, you know, it's five o'clock, and then they close the app, and then they come back and it says it's 10 o'clock, the device is gonna think it's been five hours. It's actually been two minutes. But there's no way to know that. There's no way to validate on the device how do you check how much time has actually passed. Now, a lot of games do this by connecting to the internet. You can control the clock on your phone, but you can't control the clock on Amazon servers. So they just make sure to connect to Amazon servers and just compare the two. See how offset you are. If you've ever played a game that won't let you play offline, this is one of the reasons it might be doing that. It needs to be able to check the server to compare the timestamp to make sure that you're not cheating. But that was also an obstacle for me because up until this point, Terra Genesis didn't have any internet functionality. The whole game just ran on your phone. There was nothing that connected to the internet. This was before cloud save. This was before any number of 
analytics systems or server control systems that are now in the game, I didn't have a server for Terra Genesis. And I didn't really know how to do server functionality for Terra Genesis. So I needed a system that didn't require it. I kicked around ideas for a while, and ultimately I settled on what I thought was a pretty nice solution. And it's based on human nature. The idea was, sure, you may be okay changing the time on your phone for a minute to cheat at a video game, but nobody wants to change the time on their phone and then just leave it there forever. Eventually you're gonna wanna go back to the regular time. You're gonna want the clock on your phone to say what time it actually is. And while it's really tough to tell whether a time jump forward is real or not, time pretty much doesn't flow backward. And so any time the player's clock goes backward, you know something's up. I didn't know how to catch them moving their clock forward, but I could catch them moving their clock backward. Now, one of the guiding design principles in Terra Genesis, and really everything that I make, is that everything should exist in universe. I don't really like games that have a lot of sort of background menus and settings and things that don't really make sense. You know, this is a game about terraforming Mars. Everything needs to make sense within the context of terraforming Mars. And that's why even things like the ads in Terra Genesis are framed as an incoming transmission from a ship that's passing by. It's not just an ad. It's, hey, it, you know, it exists in the world. And so I wanted to do something similar with this anti-cheating mechanism, but you know, there isn't really a lot with regard to going back in time that's related to real science. It's not really a thing. So ultimately, I decided to lean into that, that someone has broken the laws of physics. They've gone back in time, and hopefully framing it that way, framing it as going back in time, will also make it clear to the player, why is this happening? Why did my planet just suddenly go haywire? Oh, it's because I went back in time, because I changed the clock on my phone. We do get some frustrated players every so often, but for the most part, it's actually been really positively received. We get fan mail, frankly, from players pretty regularly saying things like, ah, oh, you know, I tried to get one by you, but that was, that was really funny. That was a really funny way to handle it. And I appreciate that. You know, on the one hand, it is something that is protecting our revenue stream. It's also sort of preventing players from doing something that's going to frustrate them by giving them unexpected consequences uh, from fast forwarding. So it's, it's protecting both of us, but at the same time, it is a, a form of frustration, frustrating your efforts. Uh, so I really appreciate that a lot of players have sort of played into it a little bit and understood where we were coming from. But that's pretty much the story of the Time Traveler. We've had a few bugs along the way, but these days, whenever anybody experiences the Time Traveler, we sometimes get people posting online and saying, hey, what is this terrible thing? I didn't do anything. And pretty quickly, the fans know to be like, don't cheat. Don't want the Time Traveler, don't cheat. That's it for this week. I'm gonna be doing more of these Terra Genesis dev diaries in the future, going through and talking about different systems in the game and how I came up with them, how we implemented them, and some of the challenges that went into creating them. Post in the comments and let me know if you have a particular thing that you'd like me to talk about. I'm always happy to answer player questions. It's one of my very favorite things to do. So if you have questions or if you have parts of the game you wanna hear more about, post in the comments and let me know. I'll see if I can do an episode about it later. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get updates for all of our future episodes. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming out. We've got episodes of The Synthesis coming out every week, and we've got a new show called Slice of Science coming out every other week that I think you're really going to enjoy. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy terraforming.